how to make a tassel necklace with loom. So this is one of our most popular um, projects that we make here at the studio. Um, it's just simple tassel with, in this case, we use ceramic beads and any type of circular piece. This is just a three inch brass ring. This is a vintage ring. It's probably half an inch or an inch that we just picked up um, at a vintage, a rummage sale, and then some cord. In this case, we have rope for this. I use nylon for that, but in this case, this one is leather. So to make something like this, what you'll need are a wild and crazy tassel that's already made, a tubular bead, you could actually use also a round bead, a ring, in this case we have a wooden ring, some leather cord or any other type of cord, tapestry needle, scissors, and some jewelry or just all-purpose glue. All right, let's get started. So the final project here that we'll make um, will look somewhat like this, but in a different color. So as you can see here, we only have about four components, your cord, your ring, your bead, and your tassel. Okay. So of course it doesn't have to be um, ceramic, it can be anything. So taking your tassel, in this case, you know what, this I actually probably don't even have to string with a... Um, with the needle, I could just probably push the end through here. Use my needle to grab that out. Okay. So one thing to consider, so in this case, I'm using a bead that actually just fits with the head of this tassel. It actually won't pull and it won't go any further. In some cases, this middle hole here might be big. All you need to do is just put in some glue, line it in the inside, maybe with the tip of your um, needle or whatever it is, and then just kind of keep it shut. You only have to probably hold it there for about 10, 10 seconds, then leave it to dry before you proceed to the next step. So in this case, I'm ready to move on. Since I'm not using any glue, all you have to do here is take your bead here and I'm just going to tie a tight double knot to this bead. I'm sorry, not bead, um, wooden ring. Okay. So once you make your tight middle knot, everything just kind of is going to pull together. See how it's already pulling together? Your key here though is that don't relent and make sure that your um, middle knot there, just like in the pom pom or whatever, stays pretty tight. Okay. I'm gonna do it the third time around. Always helps. Now I like to hide these loose ends instead of just trimming them. So what I like to do is take my tapestry and it'll string it. And a lot of times you can send it through right here. There we go. Pull. This makes such a nice gift. This is one of those things that I, you know, takes us in 10 minutes to do. Um, you could make it with any type of beads, you know, any scrap. You could even make it out of um, dry, you know, air dry clay. You could make it, um, you know, out of Sculpey, anything of that nature or things that you find at the thrift store. So now you have these kind of components put together. Now I'm gonna take my, um, leather cord and what I like to do it's really easy to do is compare the ends make sure that it's um, measured up to your neck to see the length that you like take this like this so that there's a loop here and then just pull through and it creates this really beautiful kind of knot and you just wear it See how quick that is? And that's one of the most beautiful, I think, pieces of jewelry that we've ever made. I think this is why it's so popular. And you can see, depending on the material you use, they can all have such a different look to them. Here is your tassel necklace with a loom tassel.